ladies and germs, welcome to Star Citizen. Man, I've been waiting all week to play, and I just we've been having so many uh, difficulties getting into the game because of the 318 release. But I traded in my Expanse because it's not it's going to be a long time before the Expanse comes out, and I picked up this really cool Vulture. This is a scavenging uh, salvage ship, and what this does is we go out into space, and we're going to look for wrecks. And then we're going to strip their hull and make salvage. And then you can sell those parts, the salvage, for money. Turns out this ship is a pretty good money maker. While it's not as good as mining, if you're mining quantanium, that is. And it's not maybe as practical as going to do bunker missions, though it's kind of close. I bet you it's around the same, maybe a little bit less. Uh, the only thing that's going to beat that is like ERTs. If you're doing high risk target missions, you can make more than this. But this ship will easily make a hundred thousand plus an hour. Um, so I've, you know, when it first came out, people were saying, "Oh, the economy's not very good," and it's, man, it is, it's good. It's not bad at all. The ship is kind of pricey at one hundred and seventy-five dollars. Once again, I didn't spend any money on it. I just traded stuff for it. So, um, but it is a pretty big ship too. One of the things I have a problem with, I always end up whacking these really long front. The salvage array, I guess you would call it. <laughs> I, I knock them. I, I knock it into stuff. Um, you have a ladder for front entry. This will allow you to enter the top of the ship and just get right into the, dry, the, the pilot's seat. Uh, I would wear a helmet when you're operating. Sometimes when you leave the seat, instead of going back into the ship, you'll actually go out the door. And, of course, when you're in outer space, you have about three seconds. Your guy's not very good at holding his breath, and he starts to die almost immediately when you fall out of the ship. So... Uh, you really want to wear your helmet while you're operating. Just trust me on that. I've done it before twice. Uh, we also have this bay in the back that you can you can enter this way. And this gives us access to the area where we make our cargo containers. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. You have a cargo space here that holds 12 cargo containers. This machine is where the um, salvage is collected. The salvage will be collected into a one-unit container. It then gets ejected to this spot here. Well, you need to have a multi-tool, which you can actually make here. If you don't have one, you can just make it. And you'll also need the tractor beam. So you'll have to make one of these and then make one of these. And then you'll get your first crate. And you can take the crate and put it onto the grid. And then the next crate will come out and you put that on the grid. If you have your cargo set to auto eject the first crate will come out and the second one will get filled so every two crates one will come out the other one will sit uh, you have to come down here and empty it out unless and here's where the multiplayer comes in you have a friend that has let's say like a nomad or heck a freelancer or a hull a or some sort of small to medium sized cargo ship then what you can do is you can open up the back of the ship and anytime you get a box you just you can run the ship and salvage. He can stand down here and make the boxes and chuck them out into space. Once they're in space, you can go out there and you can use your tractor beam tool and attach them to his ship or throw them inside his ship, however you want to do it, and you get them into the cargo ship and you can just keep salvaging all day long, loading his cargo ship, and you can take it back. Uh, about 14 boxes, which is two more than this cargo area holds, is worth just over $100,000 right now. So, and if you find a good uh, area of harvesting, it seems like around HRUL1, there are broken up 600 eyes everywhere <laughs> that you find. And you can salvage those parts uh, fairly easily and make a lot of money very quickly. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes to break one of those up and fill this up. If you've got maybe somebody flying cap to watch out for you guys and you have a cargo ship, you can fill that guy up in maybe an hour's time. And make five or six hundred thousand dollars between the three of you, so this is going to be pretty useful. Now I'm doing it by myself tonight. Uh, obviously, there's been issues getting people in. I'm not even going to try to get my friends in because it's been so uh, rough uh, as far as getting people in to the game. They they can't get in. They can't get in. Um, they get disconnected. Ships can't be recalled. All this kind of crap. Elevators don't work. Uh, so here we have uh, a spot. It looks like this is probably for like a gun rack and then a storage area for your stuff. Um, there is a little habitat here. I don't know if I would say that it's really a great habitat. There's, it doesn't seem to me like there's any kind of kitchen facility. 
maybe this is supposed to be a kitchen and maybe that's a refrigerator, but I don't know. Those doesn't really look like a refrigerator. This does not scream food to me. Um, but you basically just have a, a living quarters. You have like a, um, some storage areas here to store things and you got a bed, you got some lights. Let's turn the lights on. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. There you go. So a little sleeping area, but you'll notice, like I said, there's no food. There's a bathroom. Pretty decent sized restroom, so that's good. So at least you can go potty. And is that a shower? It's a really short shower, but yes, there's a, 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 a crouch shower in there. You have to crouch to use it. So very, very limited hab, but you do have a hab. Uh, I'm going to get my stuff on the ship, and then we'll hop into the cockpit. So hang on a second. Now, here's an issue right here. I'm trying to get my liquid, my drinks, onto the ship, and I cannot get my ship inventory or my personal backpack to load. So I can't carry any beverage with me aside from one. So that's going to limit the amount of time that I can be in space, which sucks, because you need to have a couple drinks to keep yourself alive. Mm. And now I can't take these back off again. Why can't I do that? Oh my gosh. Now here's the thing. When I put the inventory on the other side, I was able to do it. But I still can't get my my backpack off. I don't really want to wear the backpack. But I got the drinks into the ship. Like so. And now it's not going to work. <laughs> God dang it. What the heck? Urgh. So this is bad. And once again, this is the kind of stuff that's anyway, let's get to the tutorial. So we're going to walk in here and there is a light for the cockpit. If you want to have your lights on, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, it just makes it a little bit brighter back here, which is fine. And let's go ahead and get in our seat. And once again, you can open that side window there and go in and out that way too, if you want. Over the over the wing, it's a little faster exit, especially if there's a problem. You know, let's uh, get the ship up and running. We'll use the U key. Wow, there's people everywhere. Is that for real? All right. So first things first, we need to call tower, get out of the place. I'm going to show you a little bit of how to use the scanner tonight. There's a fairly easy way to scan and find out if it's salvage or salvageable or not. If the item, I believe, is, tw I think it's 27,000 or 2,700 pounds, it's an asteroid. If it's a multiple of 2,700, I think it's 2,700, but we'll, I'll double check that. But if it's a multiple, it's most likely an asteroid or a group of asteroids. If it's some weird number, that's not a multiple. Oh my gosh, what are all these ships doing? Then it's most likely scrap. Oh, these are just sentries. Why are these all marked out like that? Well, I'm going to get out to the field. So we are just outside of HRUL1, and this is where we're going to stay while we're while we're um, scanning. So I'm not going to go too far away. I'm just going to fly out, you know, get away from the space station so I'm not, like, right in their vicinity. And, uh... Try to get out into the asteroid belt a little bit, or the gravity well. We can go this way a little bit, too. Now, be careful. The ship does not slow down well. Um, all the thrusters are on the back. If you get into an emergency situation where you just can't stop, flip the ship backwards and let the reverse thrusters face the way that you were headed so that they can work to slow the ship down faster, that's where, once again, the big thrusters are on the back. So that's where you want to you have those head that direction to protect you. So I will be back. Okay, it wasn't 2,700, it's 1,700. Here's the rock right here. And you can see here, if I scan that rock, it's going to come back. Uh, well, we got to go in the scanning mode, sorry. We're going to keep this out all the way, and we're going to scan. And I'm going to turn this way, and we're going to look at uh, this one that's 8,000 away. What is this? It's nothing. There we go. And as we zoom in a little bit, it tells us uh, the RSI signature seventeen hundred. I've just I've just moved the wheel back and forth to get that information. Right about there is where it's telling me what it is. 
that means it's a it's a rock. We don't want that. So multiples of seventeen hundred. That's a rock. That's a rock. Ooh, that's a rock. That's a rock. That's a rock. Rock. <laughs> and that's also a rock. So you just keep looking around till you find something different. Rock. Rock, rock till you drop. Rock, rock, never stop. These all appear to be rocks. So I'm going to keep doing this. As soon as I find one that's different, I will let you know. Okay, here's one that's 3,400. Now, what's 1,700 plus 1,700? It's a multiple of two. 3,400. This is not the rock you're looking for. All right, here's a signature for 5,100. Let's see what that is. Could still be rocks, but this one's 10 kilometers out. Let's go check it out. And that's, I believe the RS signature tells us what the mass is. So that gives us an idea of the size. Um, sometimes you'll see them that have, they have IR and they also have other um, measurements. And that is a sign of a broken ship. This might just be a chunk. Well, like I said, this could also just be a rock. But this has that weird signature. And so I'm assuming that this is going to be something different. Hopefully not just a bunch of rocks. But it could be. Mm, this is looking promising. All right. Fudge. <laughs> it's rocks. Three of them. Wait. 1,734. Let me think about this. How did 5,100 work out to be three? Hold on. I got to know my math. That's times three. That is, each one of these is 1,700. Yeah, so 5,100 is a multiple. I don't know why my brain didn't get that, but there you go. So when you don't know math, then you don't know how to do this. So 5,100 is not a good find. 3,400 is not a good find. 1,700 is not a good find. So I'm going to keep looking. I'll be back. There's a signature of 10,000 right there. So we're going to go ahead and head over that way. See what that is. Oh, a bunch of, a bunch of signatures there, too. I don't know if you guys saw all those white dots. That is a real good sign that we got something. And 8,000 in that second cluster. You got 10,000 and 2,000 divided up. So I think that we're going to find something here. Once again, that's how you find it. And it, it took me, well, about 10 minutes there. Not too bad. We got a 13-minute video that includes the tour. So that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, and here come the scrap pieces. Yep. And there's pieces of scrap identified. Now, we're going to cruise right by them. Like I told you, the engine does not slow down. These sections right here... Looks small, right? That is a side panel from a 300 or a 600i. Sorry, it's not 300, 600. This will should fill up our ship, just one of these. And there's a bunch of them here. Now, the hope is that I can find my way back here once I'm done doing one run. Um, that was the wrong button. You have to press, uh, I forgot, I got to press M to go into mode here. We're going to wait until this thing stops rotating. I just lasered it. No target. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You can see here, I'm actually about to smack into these things. They're only... Why is it not... Uh... Work together, please. What the heck is going on here?
There we go. And we'll go into gimbal mode and we'll just suction these bad boys off. I'm a little too close here. There we go. 16 meters is a good distance. And you can see on the left side there, uh, up at the top where it says filler station ready. I've got already filled half of a box up just from this little segment here. Look at that. Ooh, it's sad. It's like mowing the lawn. It's super satisfying. And we shut it off while it's doing it. Right now, it's making a box. You can see it's saying filler station ejecting. What that means is obviously it's ejecting. <laughs> so the box is going onto that pad. And we are on hold here until that uh, finishes up what it's doing. Once again, I need to back up a little bit. I was at 12 meters. And it's showing that this piece on the right side there, aside from where the cargo box is, is showing us how much scrap is left on this. It gives us kind of an estimate of what's of how much meat is left on the bones. And we're done. So that second box is full. So we're going to have to leave here. And I'm going to hold down the Y key and eject out of my seat. Hopefully I will not go outside. But I've got my helmet on just in case I do. And right now I'm going to check my inventory real quick. Hopefully that... Oh, I got the pop. Good. And I can put the pop in my backpack? Yes. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to save that till I'm really thirsty. But we're at 62% already, which wearing a helmet's not great. But... You just you have to when you're doing these operations because you'll end up suffocating if you fall out. Okay, no, get, no, no, get. Okay, so here's the box. There's the first box that's come out. And I need to press number four to pull out my tractor beaming. And it shows you little purple outlines of where the box is going to go. Let's go here and we're going to eject that second box. And so we are. Two of six operations. It's going to take six. We have to do this six times to fill this up because 12 total boxes. So there we go. She's all ready and we can move on. You can see here, though, how it's nice if you have a friend that can help you because they can just do that for you while you're running the, the laser. And you don't have to keep stopping and coming down here, going through all these doors, climbing up the later, the later, the later hosen. Uh, they don't have to keep climbing up the ladder. So it makes life a little bit easier. And honestly, it's kind of dangerous leaving your seat when you could get attacked while you're out here. I don't, you know, I, that happened to me once. I actually had somebody, they didn't destroy my ship. They just started bugging me, though, whilst I was here. So it was kind of weird. And I'm like, what are you doing? They're like, hi, hi. Like bumping my ship and stuff. And I didn't really want that. So let's go ahead do another two boxes here and then I will go ahead and finish this up we'll get a full load now the sad part is right now even with the cargo refactor going on they still haven't made it so we can load things from one ship into another uh, through the terminal I would love to be able to fly this back to our space station and unload this into my MSR and then come right back out here and do the... And you can see it turned yellow there because it's, it's only got 60% left. Um, I would love to come back out here and then do some more and then load up the MSR again. And my MSR can handle about 8 to 10 loads. And then I could just fly down once to the planet to sell it and make like a million dollars. The nice thing about salvage versus mining, even though you make less per hour, you don't have to refine it. So immediately I just turn this right to cash. And that that's something that makes it a little bit better. Not about better, but yeah, I mean, in a sense, it is better because you don't have to mess around waiting for it. And you can just have it right away. But I do, like I said, I do wish you could load it to a bigger ship and then keep working. And then like when the day is over, take, you know, that load down to the planet or just leave it stored in the ship until you're ready to sell a whole ship full. 
Um, and that is coming, but we can't do it quite yet, and that's a little frustrating. All right, so we need to... We've picked that bone off. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Was the filler station full? I think it was. Shoot, why is it obstructed? Okay, well... Oh, because it's, it's full. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to continue doing this, folks. We'll go dump this off one more time, and then I'll come back, and I'll get the ship the rest of the way full. Are you guys having fun? I am. That's what this is about, right? Making money and having fun doing it. So... For those of you that don't want to do the the violence route, you want to just try to find ways to, to earn money. Now, you, like I said, you might get boarded. I do have a machine gun with me, I think. And I do have, you know, um, I do have the ability to fight. I'm not going to just give my ship up if I get attacked. But this ship is not very good as far as weapons go. So they may disable my ship, and at that point I'm kind of skunked. But I, I won't give up my life easily. I'll fight. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> Snap in. All right, I'll be back. So one thing I'm running into, just a, um, just a heads up, I... I'm filling up a box as I filled the ship up and I'm getting really full. Uh, I filled up a box and then it ejected and the second box has gone into place, but it's not filling up anymore. And so I found that as I filled up this matrix, I'm starting to have issues with it. You can see I still have two spaces here, but I've got a bunch of stuff crammed on the side. <laughs> I should probably finish these off here. Uh, But see, now there's no, I can't, there's only a little teeny bit in there and it's still not coming out. So, uh, but I'm getting really a lot of stuff here. I'm going to have an extra nine, wait, an extra six boxes. So we should get a decent amount of money when I get in there. Now it's taking me a while. I'm going to say this is probably going to be an hour trip to, for, to jam all these boxes in. I'm getting a lot more scrap. So um, it's more efficient, but it is taking longer to do it. So, but hey, might as well strip while we have this giant find. And once again, these scrap areas, you, you can either find ships or this kind of thing where you find just a huge chunk of a bunch of ships in space. These are the ones that you really want because these chunk um, farms or whatever, are they, they have far more scrap in them than just a single ship does. So this, there, see, it just, see how it just bopped up? Isn't that weird? I had, it was showing it wasn't filling at all, and then all of a sudden it started filling. But the good news is I didn't lose anything that I filled when it wasn't filling. So it's kind of weird. It's like it's not... It's registering, but it's not registering, and I'm not sure why that's happening. I don't think I'm losing any scrap, but it's just not showing that there's any in there. So I'll have to run it again next time and see... Like, run it for a while and see if it does it again. But you saw there it was empty, and then all of a sudden it jumped up to, like, a quarter of the way full. And that's not ideal. I want it to, to show me exactly what's going on, and I, if I don't know what's going on, I can't tell if I'm, you know, collecting scrap or collecting nothing, but anyway, the chat's been fun tonight. You get one or two people on there complaining and everybody else is having fun, but I'm having a blast right now, and I'm excited because I should be make about $150,000 from this trip, 140 somewhere around there. Now, the thing that sucks is I wish we could sell... Our scrap. Oh, no, it didn't chink yet. I don't think. There you go. Um, I wish we could sell our scrap at the trade module on the space station. And once again, it, I, I said this a little bit before, but it sucks. I'm going to have to go all the way down to Hurston. And now with the server in the state that it's in, I'm kind of afraid to go to Hurston because if I get down there, I might have an issue getting back up. I don't want to put my ship in storage. I'm going to land and I'm going to try to keep the ship on the pad so I can fly away and bring it back up here to Hurston L1 um, to HRU L1 now this one's filling up I forgot to look but it's it's filling so we're good to go so 
Oh, and I skipped to the other blade, too. That's probably... I'm not sure how these blades work. They work differently, but... Anyway, they're pretty cool. Alright, guys. So I'm going to keep going. I'll see you when I'm done. Those boxes are, like, moving on their own. This is... I'm going to get two more in there, and then I think we're done. This is dangerous. <laughs> Those are going to, like, flop out into space or cause my ship to explode. Some Something weird is going to happen. And we are full. So I'm going to sit here for a second, and I'm going to go into my map and plot my course to Hurston. Once again, I like HRUL 1 and 2 because they are very close. And we're just going to jump to Hurston, and then we should be able to find Lorville once we get there and jump straight to Lorville. So... Go ahead and turn my jump engines on. Now, this ship is not very quick in in uh, its quick time travel. It's it's um, or quantum. It's kind of fairly slow, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Or maybe it did that on purpose. I'm not sure. And I can't get it to jump. I'll be back. Man, Quantum is really touchy tonight. There we go. And we are off in the Vulture. Um... So let's see how much we made. Like I said, I've been up for about an hour, maybe a little longer, but mostly I've been goofing around to talking to people and stuff. So just having fun, doing some spacing. Uh, let's see what we made. So I could have stacked those two boxes that I filled up last and then done two more boxes. So we have a total right now of 18 boxes in there. <laughs> We could have fit 20. Uh, but once again, it's a little, it is a little dangerous because you're not supposed to put so much stuff in the back. Um, once the game hopefully is like all finished and we have like perfected uh, physics and everything, I wouldn't be quite as afraid to do it. But right now I am running a risk that something's going to bug out and my ship's going to explode in a million pieces and cargo's going to go flying everywhere. That could happen. So it hasn't happened so far, but... It could happen. I'm hoping it doesn't. <laughs> what a neat ship this is, though. I really... I, I hope I can get a different paint job. I'm not a huge fan of the paint. Uh, there's some cool paint jobs out there. They had one called, I think... It's a couple more bucks. Uh, it's it's called, like, um, the Assembly or the Assembler. And it's red. And it looks like something out of Robotech. And I'm, like, all over that, man. It's, like... I love Robotech's like one of my favorite shows. You know, I grew up as as a teenager. It's when it came out, and I just freaking loved Robotech. So I'm hoping that. Um, anyway, the paint shop has that Robotech vibe. It looks like one of Miria's ships. So I'm hoping to get that that uh, paint job on this thing. The, the yellow doesn't really do it for me, but uh, anyway. All right, I'm headed down. I'll see you when I get down there. And we are coming down to Tisa Spaceport. Or Tisa, however you pronounce it, probably Tisa. Here in Lorville. And, uh, man, it looks gorgeous in the daytime. I'll tell you what. That, it's still, like, almost breathtaking when you come down here. It really is a, quite a look. I wish they would give me a little bit bigger landing pad. This thing is so long. And it is quite difficult to squeeze it into these little pads. Like, I wish they would give me that one. Which, what did she say? Putting the gear down. Big lights are off. Landing gear down. Something bad's going on right there above my hangar. I don't know if you see that. Whatever that thing is, there's pieces of something flipping around. I don't. Is that the engine of a constellation, maybe? Warning. You are leaving a it looks like a Connie engine. Somebody must have wrecked. Time to pull out the old salvage wand. All right, so I'm going to roll down here. And uh, get landed. Well, this isn't going well. Don't 
Don't tap those things. All right, and we're going to exit out the side so you guys get to see that, too. Now, he's going to go out the back, but then we're going to walk out the side. Oh, before I do that, though, I forgot. We need to unload one more set of boxes, so let's go do that. I need to get these out of the ship and into the back hull so we have them. And uh, so we're going to grab this. Walk it back. Oh, God. <laughs> we're going to check this. Yeah, we're just going to leave that there. So 18 boxes. What do you think they're going to be worth? I think they're going to be worth a lot. Let's go. We're going to make lots of money. All right, we're going to go outside the thing. I'll be the brains. And I guess since there's no one else here, I'll also be the brawn. Let's make lots of money. Oh, I can take my helmet off now, too. I'm going to. Oh, look at this. What is all this stuff? This is my home planet goods. Hmm. All right, so we're going <laughs> to leave the helmet here and the armor. Nope, I wanted that on the vehicle. Put that back on, you dork. There we go. Helmet off. Helmet. Can we open this yet? Open. <gasps> I can open it now, I think. It's empty. Okay, good. Perfect. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get out there. I'm going to show you the exit. That's what I promised I would do. I got lost. Sometimes I do have ADHD. I apologize. My videos are not as professional as many people out there who are like, Welcome to Star Citizen. Here we have some of the coolest things that ever happened in the universe. But we have fun. So let's go ahead and get down there. I'm going to, that's how you exit the side. You just kind of fall off the ladder. Same thing going back in again. But still, it's cool that there's two entries. If the back of your ship catches on fire, you can always jump out the window. I will, I'm going to head over to the TDD. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right. So we have arrived here in, at the main part of Hurston Dynamics, the central business dis district. And I'm looking for the transfers building. Sometimes these are called transfers, sometimes they're called TDD, or both. Um, but whenever you see TDD or transfers, that's what we're looking for. And you're going to come down here to the trading floor. Works just like mining and selling selling your mined minerals. And you're going to hop up here on one of the trading stations. These are a little bit different now. Um, and I'm going to look at my inventory, and I'm going to go to the Vulture. And I'm going to sell... And it should show us in a minute um, what we have on the ship. No, not the Buccaneer. This is all kind of new. Come on. <laughs> I swear to God, this works. Hold on a second. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm Ryan. And I think that maybe because I had all these extra boxes on the ship, they could be causing a problem with this. So I have moved the boxes off of the the ship, hoping that this will clear that up, and then I can go sell them, and then come back and sell the other six. That kind of sucks if that's how we're gonna have to do it. So really, if that's the case, then twelve is really the max. Like you don't. You don't want to mess around doing this unless you have somebody that can stay here and just sit there while you unload them. I mean, that, that would be a possibility, I guess. You just have a friend go with you and they can stay with the ship while you, you know, un you unload them. You go sell and then tell them, OK, go ahead and load them back on and they can load them back on. And then you sell again. But that's kind of annoying. Let's see what happens. I'm going to see if these things, if they disappear or if they stay. I'm hoping they stay, but who knows? Who freaking knows? All right, we've arrived back at TDD. And I've emptied the ship, so let's see now. Can we sell this thing? It should just pop up. Go for your inventory for the Drake. And I should get a list here of what's in the... It's not working. 
What the frick? I broke the game. Why does this stuff happen for when I'm trying to do a tutorial? And so once again, well, everything I taught you tonight is for real. But I guess the lesson that we learned on top of that is don't put more than 12 boxes in the dray because you'll break it. So I am making zero money from tonight. But at least you guys got to see. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course, now they're going to turn my ship to storage. No. Ah. So now I'm going to lose my boxes. Frick. Unfreaking believable. All right, folks. Have a good night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And I just lost $50,000 worth of scrap. Welcome to Star Citizen. Bye.